In 2020, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stepped down from their positions as senior royals. The couple moved to Southern California and is now assimilating themselves into Hollywood circles. Given the fact that Meghan is a former actor from Los Angeles, many people believe she was the one who decided to move the family away from the United Kingdom. After moving to California, Meghan and Harry became more and more distant from the rest of the royal family. The couple even publicly criticized some royals in interviews with various news outlets. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have caused a big problem for the royal family after leaving the firm's one-way street. Graham Smith, who heads up the campaign group Republic, is calling for the abolition of the monarchy as the head of the British state. Mr Smith described how the departure of Meghan and Harry from the front line of senior royals was very different to previous exits, most notably the abdication of Edward VIII in 1936. Meghan and Harry stepped back from official duties in March 2020, relocating to Meghan's home state of California in the U.S. They are now not permitted to use their former HRH titles, but to retain their titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Mr. Smith told Express.co.uk, the last time it really happened was the abdication, but that happened in a very difficult set of circumstances for the family. It was quite traumatic for them. He added that once a person is born into a life within the royal family, or becomes integrated into it, it likely feels like a one-way street, a conveyor belt or a highway with no exits. He said, it's like Harry and Meghan have suddenly said, well, hang on, there's an off-ramp here. You don't need to do this. You can go and do something else. He continued to say that such a realization could pose an issue for the royal family going forward, because they may now have to work much harder trying to instill some sense of royalty or duty in those who could realize there are other options open to them. Meghan and Harry's exit from royal family life sent shockwaves through the firm and through publics around the world. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stayed tight-lipped on the split, as did the royal family, until they starred in the now infamous sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. In the interview, Harry claimed that Princes William and Charles were trapped within the system, and Meghan described how she struggled so much with her new life within the firm that she didn't want to be alive anymore. Commenting on the impact of the interview, Mr. Smith said, a lot of what Meghan and Harry said in that interview last year rang true for an awful lot of people. He added that it made the monarchy look shabby, inflexible and secretive and incapable of living by the standards of 2022. Mr. Smith argued that although reports of a rift between the Duchess of Sussex and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, may have contributed to Megxit, the driving force will have been the monarchy's inability to adapt. He said, it shows that they struggle to accept anybody into the family from outside, unless they are willing as Kate has been, to completely subsume themselves to pre-existing ways of behaving. He claimed the Sussex's new way of operating, away from the confines of the royal households, showed the royal family to be dysfunctional and incapable of being flexible or changing. Last year, royal expert Emily Andrews suggested Meghan had hoped to find a companion in her sister-in-law, who would sympathize and understand the process of slotting in among senior royals. Speaking during Channel 5's documentary, Meghan at 40, Ms. Andrews claimed, here were two women, both outsiders, marrying into the royal family, living on the same complex at Kensington Palace, of course, they'd be besties.